Hello viewers, welcome to this video and in this video we will be looking at how to set up a docker swarm cluster. So in the previous two videos we saw, I think in the previous three videos, we saw about a docker machine where we can use the binary docker machine to create uh, machines with docker installed. It's easy to manage all the docker machines with a single binary from a single machine, right? So that was the notes that I used. So we saw all these commands, how to create, how to SSH into those machines, um, how to start, stop, restart and everything. So the idea for me to introduce the Docker machine to you is when it comes to Docker swarm cluster, I will be using Docker machine to create all the swarm managed nodes. Okay, so I'm going to create three Docker machines using the Docker machine command. And then I'm going to uh, create a swarm cluster from these three machines and we will take it from there. Okay, so this video is just about swarm cluster, how to join a new node or how to remove an existing node and so on. And in the next video, we will see how to deploy some containers um, into the swarm cluster. So basically, it's about container orchestration, right? So you just tell the swarm cluster, I need to run uh, like five instances of nginx container that's it you write a definition you deploy it that's it the swarm cluster um, takes care of maintaining the number of instances that you specified and so on so similar to kubernetes container orchestration so that will be covered in the next video this video is purely about uh, setting up the swarm cluster okay so i'm going to create a three docker machine so I'm going to use a for loop it will be easy because i'm going to use the same command for i in node one two three basically do docker machine create docker machine create minus minus driver is virtual box um name of the machine is node sorry dollar I done okay so basically the command I'm running is docker machine create with the driver virtual box and this one will be node 1 node 2 node 3 so basically I'm creating three machines okay so I'm gonna pause the video and come back when all the three virtual machines have been provisioned all right so now we have three machines um, should be up and running uh, if I do docker machine ls okay so node 1 node 2 node 3 all of them are virtual box vms vbox manage list vm so we have three machines node 1 node 2 node 3 and if i log into each of these machines let's say docker machine is such node 1 docker version sorry docker version 19.03.5 okay cool so now we have three machines uh, with docker installed so i'm going to set that three machine set up the three machine in a swarm cluster so in a swarm cluster we need to have at least one manager node so similar to kubernetes where we have a master node and worker nodes in swarm cluster we have a manager node and the worker nodes so first we need to decide uh, which node is going to take the manager role. So you can take, you can pick any node and make it a manager node. You have to uh, initialize the swarm cluster on that manager node, and then you will be able to join additional worker nodes to that swarm cluster. Let's see them one by one. So I'm going to make, where is it? So I'm going to make node one, so I'm going to use all these three machines in my swarm cluster. So my swarm cluster is going to have these three machines. And in that cluster, node one will be the manager and node two and node three will be the worker node. Okay, so I'm going to log in to node one, docker machine SSH node one. So if I do docker info right now, so you can see here swarm is inactive. So in order to set up swarm cluster, you don't have to do anything extra in terms of installation. So the Docker runtime, when you install Docker, it always it already comes with swarm enabled. Sorry, it already comes with the capabilities of swarm, but it's inactive. It's not enabled. So you need to enable it. You need to initialize it. So there is nothing extra that you need to do in terms of uh, installing additional packages or doing some configurations or something. Okay, so 
look at this one swarm is inactive so now we are going to initialize the swarm cluster on this first node by doing that we are making this node a manager node okay export term equals x term don't worry about running this command it's just my thing okay so the command to initialize the swarm cluster is docker swarm init and minus minus advertise address uh, you need to pass in the address the IP address of this master node I don't know what the IP address is so look let's find that out so eth1 so that's the IP address of this machine copy that docker swarm init minus minus advertise address 192.168.99.108 so that's the IP address of this master machine so if I do that, now we can see Swarm is initialized and that's the current node, which is now a manager, all right? So it also gives you some information about if you want to add a new worker node, what command should you use? So Docker Swarm join, and that's the token that you need to use. And that's the IP address of the manager node. And that's the port, management port 2377. So you need to log into each of your other machines and then run this command so that those machines can join this swarm cluster okay so if you lose this command you should be able to regenerate it so let's say i clear the screen i forgot to copy that command so the command is docker swarm token join and there are two options depending on whether you want to generate a token for worker node or a manager node so if you want to do for worker node just do that docker swarm token join worker uh, join token sorry docker swarm docker swarm join token worker to add a worker to this swarm run the following command okay so we've got that command here which i'm going to copy i've copied that so i'm going to run this command on the other two machines node 2 and node 3 so that they all will become part of this swarm cluster Okay, so now given I've initialized swarm in this node and if I do docker info now and you can see um, swarm is now active. So that's the ID of this node. Is manager? Yes. So this node is a manager. That's the cluster ID. Number of manager one, number of node is one and the manager address is this one. Okay, so that's the difference. Uh, when you do the swarm init command. So now this docker, this docker machine is part of a swarm cluster. Okay. So the moment the swarm cluster contains just one node, which is the manager node. Now I'm going to log out and log into the second node and I'm going to run the command. First, let's check the docker info command and you can see swarm is inactive and paste in the docker swarm join command and now if you do docker info you can see swarm is active that's the node id is manager no this is not a manager this is a worker node that's the node address and that's the address of the manager of this swarm cluster okay i'm going to do the same on the last node which is node 3 docker info swarm is inactive paste the command docker info swarm is active node id this is not a manager so that's the address of this node we have the manager address and so on okay so one thing to bear in mind is all the docker management related commands needs to be run on the manager node you can't run the commands on the worker node now i'm in one of the worker node and if i do docker node ls it clearly says worker nodes can't be used to view or modify cluster state. Please run this command on a manager node. Okay, so let's log into the manager node. Docker machine SSH node 1. And if I do docker info, you can see now swarm active one manager. There are three nodes. Cool. And if I do export term equals x term okay so docker node ls okay so now we've got a swarm cluster active swarm cluster with three nodes 
node one is the leader node and we've got two other nodes node two and node three cool okay so what other commands do we have docker node minus minus help so we can do docker node ls docker node ps for example docker node ps and specify a node for example node 3 so basically what it does is list uh, the containers list the tasks running on uh, the particular node okay so at the moment the node uh, there are no tasks running on this node but if you want to find out um, what tasks are running on this what containers are running on this particular node use this command docker node ps okay and if you want to remove this node from the swarm cluster just do docker node docker node remove node 3 that will remove node 3 from the swarm cluster and also you can promote and demote for example i can promote node 1 i can promote node 2 to be manager and i can demote node 1 from manager to worker let's do that docker node ls so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to promote node 2 to be a manager so for that docker node promote node 2 okay node 2 promoted to a manager in the swarm and if i do docker node ls it's not actually the leader at the moment but it can become a leader so it says reachable and now if i demote node 1 docker node demote node 1 okay so i'm demoting node 1 from manager to worker and if i do that manager node 1 demoted in the swarm cluster so now we are in node 1 which is not a manager node which is just a worker node so you won't be able to run any management commands on it and if i do docker node ls you get this error so we got we have to log out and log in to node 2 which is now the new manager and if i do docker node ls you can see node 2 is now the leader and node 1 is one of the worker okay okay so now let's see how to uh, remove a node from the cluster docker node els docker node remove minus minus help docker node remove removes one or more nodes from the swarm okay minus f to force the node from the swarm cluster okay so but before let me export my variable okay but before removing a node from the swarm cluster it's always a good idea to drain the node you know when you schedule tasks or services in your swarm cluster uh, the node that you're trying to remove might already have some containers running on it so before shutting it down or removing it from the swarm cluster make sure to drain the node so that all the tasks that were running on that node gets rescheduled on some other node and then we can uh, delete it remove it from the swarm cluster docker node ls so say for example if you want to remove node 3 and the command to drain the node is docker node update minus minus availability drain node 3 okay docker node ls so now we can see it's not available it's not active so any no new task will get scheduled in uh, the node 3 it's in the training mode so any containers already running on this node will get uh, transfer will get rescheduled on a different node node 1 and node 2 so once you're happy that no containers are running for example docker node ps node 3 then you can remove it docker node remove node 3 is not down and can't be removed okay so first before that we need to stop it and then we can remove it all right docker machine stop node 3 so stopping node 3 and then we got to log into the manager node docker machine ssh node 2 which is the manager node and do docker node ls okay status that's down docker node remove node 3 node 3 is gone docker node ls so we now have just two nodes node 1 and node 2 okay cool um i think that's all i wanted to show you in this video 
Um, in the next video, we will be looking at uh, creating Docker, creating services and deploying them in our Swarm cluster, um, adding replicas and how to publish the port, how to access uh, the application deployed in your Swarm cluster and so on. So we will be doing few few other things uh, in the next video. But before that, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring it back to uh, where it was. So I'm going to start Docker machine start node 3. Okay, node 3 is up Docker machine ls. So I don't know why it's hanging. Okay. Okay, cool. So we have node 3 now and I'm going to log into node 2 which is the manager and I'm going to generate the token that I want because I need to add node 3 back to the uh, swarm cluster. Docker machine SSH node 2 Docker swarm join token worker join token worker so that's the command we need copy that command exit out and log into node 3 and run that command this node is already part of the swarm use docker swarm leave to leave the swarm and join another one okay docker swarm leave i don't think it node left the swarm okay export term equals X term. So, in addition to draining the node, shutting down the node, and doing Docker swarm uh, remove, Docker node remove, you also need to do Docker swarm leave so that this node is officially not part of that swarm cluster. Okay. So now let's run the same command again. Docker swarm join. This node join a swarm cluster. Exit out of it, and then log into node two, which is the manager node. Docker node ls. We have three nodes. What I'm going to do is I'm again going to promote node one to manager and demote node two to worker. Docker node promote node one. Docker node demote node two. And now if I log into node one, Docker node ls. Cool. So this is uh, how we started. We had uh, node one as the leader. So now we are back to uh, that situation so we've got one node which is the leader node and we've got two worker nodes so this will be my base for the next video um, please give it a try if you've got any questions let me know and um, I will see you all in my next video bye bye